hello everyone welcome back to my channel i've been mia for a long time like i have not made a video in so long it's probably been over a year at this point if i'm not mistaken well uploaded a video i've made videos but i have not uploaded them i do not plan on uploading them but i decided i'm gonna record today and i'm gonna try to just start uploading my videos So if you didn't know or if you're wondering where I've been, the last time I posted anything was a short and if you go back, I was pregnant. So that's where I've been. I was pregnant, I delivered, and now I'm in my postpartum-ish phase. The reason why I decided that I was going to make a video today is I'm going to start, like I'm not, I don't have a snapback body, um, but I'm working on trying to get my body back i don't think i'm gonna be going like into like a calorie deficit or anything like that because i'm exclusively breastfeeding um and i just don't find the need to be dieting while i'm breastfeeding because i know that's gonna affect my milk supply and i do not want that so today's video i'm sharing with you guys a couple of not a couple three pairs of sneakers that I picked up. They are pretty popular, but they're very, very comfortable. So I wanted to get a few pairs. I feel like that's what motivates me when it comes to working out. Um, I just love new outfits. I love different sneakers. Unfortunately, I love shopping. So any excuse to shop, um, sign me up. So I'm not rambling because I have not uploaded in a while. I feel like there's so much I want to share, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it straight to the point so they are the new balances and 90 60s um, I am I just want to start off with the fact that I am usually a size 7 in men or boys or big kid sneakers I find that I usually get a 7 just so that they're comfortable they're a little roomy um, but but in these sneakers, I found that I've had to go a half size down. So all of these sneakers that I'm sharing are in a size six and a half. I have a couple pairs in a size seven and they're just too big. They're like beyond the amount of extra room that I prefer. So yes, I have these in six and a half. These are kids. And I wanna point something out, I'll probably show you so that you can see the difference. Um, I find that the kids shoes the material is just it's not it it's not it um, so I'm kind of like I don't know if I want to keep these let me come in close I don't know if I want to keep these or not they just Yes, they look like the shoes that older people wear um, but I love them they're really comfortable but I find that the material on these, they're not really, they're not really giving. They're not giving. Um, I love the colorway. I love the colorway and I almost had to come to terms with the fact that I don't love the material because I'm the type of person that if I like the colorway, I feel like I keep things just because I love the color, knowing I don't like the material, if that even makes sense. So, I have to like convince myself to return these see I'm looking at them now and I'm just like oh, just keep them but I know that the material is just not it I'm not even gonna lie to you all it's just not it for me and it's just the it's just the big kids version um, that I just do not like the material on but I, the colorway again I love and these were $109, well, $110, because it's $109.99. Um, so these were $110. And yeah, those are these. I'm just going to leave them right back here. The other pair that I got, um, these are six and a half in men. And it, for the colorway, they just say brown, brown. Again, these are the New Balance. 90 60s so yeah so i'm these are the ones i'm actually going to show you the difference with like these are just they're stunning 
they're stunning like the quality they just feel so much better than these these just feel very very lightweight these however feel very sturdy like they just feel sturdy to me and back here I'm gonna come a little closer back here kind of gives that Balenciaga vibe um, like those heavier sneakers it gives that vibe but I really yeah these are it for me like I'm gonna be styling while I'm working out and I love the colorway do you see this has like a um, olive greenish kind of color and then you have your neutrals this appears gray um, but then sometimes it almost looks like a navy blue color look at these these are stunning here is the difference so these are the big kids in a six and a half these are the men's in a six and a half and they just feel so much different this has like a suede these are more like a, of a suede material these have like a leatherish kind of material but yeah it's a yes for me it's a yes and like I said they are very 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 comfortable there's like this absorb um I want to say shock kind of material thing going on here don't quote me on like the materials and stuff because I didn't study it I didn't like study what absorb is that kind of stuff but I could tell you when I step in these they feel so 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 good lastly let's get into this last colorway and I don't know if I mentioned but those the men's these are $149.99 so $150 again $109.99 $110 these are the big kits these are the men's lastly we have again a six and a half in men usually a seven but i would advise that you go a half size down that's what i've had to do just so that they fit a little better and they're not like slipping off the back of my feet so these are gray green that's how they described them here um this colorway yes they remind me of I'm not sure growing up like beef and broccoli that was a colorway for things especially like Tim's and stuff like that so these remind me of like the beef and broccoli Tim's as you can see oh my battery's gonna die as you can see the beef would be the brown the broccoli would be the green and then there's like this grayish green um, I apologize grayish black color here black the green comes through these are just, oh, these are stunning. Again, $149.99, $150 essentially. Um, and I have, I went a half size down just because they just fit me better. And I will say these shoe, the shoelaces on these are much different. They're like this, um, I don't know how to just like, this is how you adjust it. And then you like pull it to, if you needed more, space for like width purposes or to tighten it you would just pull on this right here as opposed to these they're actual like shoelaces if you can see like you're pulling these are different than the shoelaces on these but like I said I got these more as like I just need motivation I feel like when I look good um working out i feel good i feel like i'm in it if the shoes are comfortable and like with a little bit of a heel i feel like i can get i feel like i'm it, there's like a pump when i'm working out so i wanted to get those and again they're the new balance 9060s and i wanted to share this mist right here so this is called the sol de janeiro no brazilian crush caramelized vanilla and macadamia this Sorry, my battery ended up dying, but yes. Yeah, so this is the Sol de um, Janeiro Brazilian Crush Caramelized Vanilla and Macadamia. This smells amazing. Like I cannot even describe the scent. It's like this, well I can because I'm gonna describe it. 
Um, it's like this warm vanilla scent. So how they describe it is a voluptuous blend of caramelized vanilla and toasted macadamia nut kisses every craving. Wrap yourself in the warmth of Charosta 71. The fragrant notes are um, caramelized vanilla, sea salt, toasted macadamia nut, white chocolate, tonka bean, coconut blossom. Like, mm, it's so good. And I love these because they're body and hair mist. So, all over there, like, I don't know. When I spray myself, I tend to do a lot of this and like this. So it's good to know that this is actually safe to be spraying in my hair. I usually don't care, but it's good to know that it is safe. But yes, these are the things that I wanted to share with you. I should probably leave this out as well. Let me know your thoughts on the New Balance's 90, the New Balance 9060s. If you have them, um, what are your thoughts on them? If you're thinking about getting them, feel free to ask me. I do have other pairs, but these were my recent pick-me-ups. If I'm not mistaken, they're available. Um, let me just take a quick peek so I'm not telling you the wrong thing. When I search these sneakers, I literally go to newbalance.com uh, and I just go in the search box and I put in 9060 um, and they come right on up. These are the ones that are available right now. These are the ones that I have. I came on this site to get them. So let me just say something really quick. So the 9060s, these New Balance 9060s, these especially, they were available at Foot Locker prior to the release of these. These were available on Foot Locker, but they did not have them in the six and a half, the smaller sizes, like the five and a half, six, four, those sizes. So I had to wait. I didn't know at the time that the New Balance website was gonna have them in my size, and they did. So if you ever notice that Foot Locker doesn't have the 9060s in your size, I would advise that you go onto the New Balance website because they have a, a larger range of sizes so when your feet are smaller so again like the seven six and a half those smaller men's sizes or the bigger men's sizes I advise that you go to the New Balance website and that happened to me with these as well as these the flip side to that is sometimes Foot Locker does have different colorways like more um how do I describe it like special colorways so it can get tricky in that aspect but if not I always advise that you check the New Balance website so currently they have these this pink pair that's coming out and it states here that that's going to release between December 5th and December 10th if this is a colorway that you like I suggest that you just go on to like the notify me section right here if you want these this is in big kids so like I said the material is completely different from that of the men's sneaker um they're not awful but they ju they just feel different they're just lighter I won't say I dislike them, but I, I definitely prefer the men sizes because the quality is just better. So yes, that's those are my thoughts on the New Balance 9060s. I hope that I'm back. Um, I really do hope that I'm back making videos. Um, we'll see what I'm going to make videos on. If you've been here, then you care for this portion of my videos um where i'm just sharing more if you're just here for the new balance 9060s i'm pretty much done at this point this is just more of me sharing um that i'm excited to be back and i'm hoping that i continue to make videos i just don't know i gotta figure out like what i will be sharing my video like what i'll be sharing in my videos i don't think i'll be doing anything in regards to like motherhood um I just don't know I don't think so I would love to because I have so many like nice necessities things that I found were necessary um, with my child but I don't know if I want this channel to be about that I want to keep it more on like the fashion beauty lifestyle even though like these things like baby things kind of touch into the lifestyle aspect of things I just I don't know if I do it would be very specific like 
oh if your child has eczema or baby acne because we struggled with that then maybe try this because it was great um and i wish i knew these things prior like before I went through all of the stuff, I kind of had to go through a few things before I found certain um, products that I loved. But I don't know if I want this channel to be about that. So that's where I'm kind of struggling. I don't know like what I'm going to be sharing. To be honest, as far as clothes go, I don't really love what's out there right now. Um, I'm a high-waisted jean type of person like those are the things I like so if I make videos it'll be almost very classic um classic kind of outfits classic for me for my style for my body um not necessarily trending pieces because I don't necessarily love the things that are trending right now um I feel like everything's very cookie cutter so I'm not really loving any of the styles or anything that's going on right now so I feel like that's why I'm struggling a little bit um so yeah I have to kind of just brainstorm where I'm gonna take this channel the things I'm gonna be sharing that kind of stuff so I still want to do OOTDs and share them as my shorts um yeah I don't know any ideas anything let me know in the comment section down below like I said I'm very excited to be back let's just see where I go from here and I'm trying to I don't know if you enjoy shorter videos let me know down below I'm trying to like not make long videos but I love to talk mind you I'm sitting here talking to myself I also love sharing things so yeah, let me know if you like longer videos, shorter videos, vlog style videos. I don't think I'll be vlogging. I struggle with vlogging because I get very uncomfortable. Like with my camera outside, it's just weird and awkward to me. I don't know, but just let me know. Any ideas, any of that stuff. I just like reading it and just seeing, oh, will that work? Will it not work? That kind of stuff. Thank you for watching this video. If you go back and you love any of my older videos, then you already know, subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Love yourself and love others as well. As long as they're kind and good to you, you can go ahead and love them as well. See you in the next video.